Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Thursday. We have to talk about the new Exorcist announcement that just happened and why this is an absolute game changer for the Exorcist franchise going forward. Let's jump right into it. So one of the scariest films in cinematic history is The Exorcist. Without a shadow of a doubt, with stories of people actually fainting, throwing up while watching it, the list just goes on. You can't buy that kind of publicity for your horror movie. And The Exorcist has been one of those that has suffered since then. Sure, one or two of the sequels were okay, and I personally watched them all when I watched them, but then we had this last one by Blumhouse, Believer, Exorcist Believer. And The Exorcist Believer was an okay movie, but what did it live up to the original? A lot of people actually believe that it didn't. So it's interesting that we are where we are within the franchise because now we're looking at a brand new movie coming out with someone new working on it. And it's this person that we're going to talk about and why this is exciting because this could very well be the game changer we were looking for. So according to several places, the Exorcist universe will be expanding with Mike Flanagan, the visionary behind the Doctor Sleep movie. Now, if you don't know about the Doctor Sleep movie, it is a direct sequel to the Shining movie, which is still based on a book by Stephen King. The book sequel, Doctor Sleep, works as a direct sequel to the book, The Shining, while the movie Dr. Sleep actually stays within the confines of the classic we know with Jack Nicholson. So they're very different from the book material, but they work so well together. And this guy legitimately created some of the scariest moments within that movie. Some Nice little nods to the original. Some nice little moments that honestly had people jumping. So he's no stranger to horror. And this is kind of really exciting because this guy is going to take over the Exorcist franchise. And with that kind of attention to detail... I can't wait to see what he does. He has signed on to write, direct, and produce what is described as a radical new take on The Exorcist for Blumhouse and Morgan Creek. The Exorcist, he says, is one of the reasons he became a filmmaker, stating that it is an honor to try something fresh, bold, and terrifying within its universe, reuniting with my friends at Blumhouse, with whom I have made some of my favorite pieces of work. This only makes this more exciting. The new Exorcist movie will be produced by longtime collaborators Trevor Macy, on behalf of Intrepid Pictures, and Flanagan via his new Red Room Pictures banner, and John Shearer will also be working on the film on behalf of Trepid. This marks the fourth collaboration for Flanagan and Blumhouse. He also wrote and directed 2013's Oculus, 2016's Hush, and 2016's Ouija, Origin of Evil, which were all also produced by Macy. To note, Flanagan's film is an all-new story, not a continuation to the 2023's Exorcist Believer, which was helmed by David Gordon Green. Green had planned a trilogy for the Exorcist movies, which would see the next one be an Exorcist Deceiver. And that was scheduled to hit theaters in 2025, but he exited the franchise in January after Believer didn't live up to the box office hopes. 
Now, this is actually very, very cool because this guy has made a number of horror films that are legitimately good. And if you have not checked out the horror films that this guy has done, you definitely need to do that. Flanagan knows what he is doing and he has produced quality work for Blumhouse in the past. And I'm telling you, the ones that he did are probably among the best of Blumhouse's horror movies. Now, they've had a lot of horror movies they've done. And some of them work and some of them don't. But the ones that he did, honestly, are among the best. They are the ones that people talk about when they talk about Blumhouse films. So, you definitely do want to check this out. If you have not seen any of his movies, check them out. Because this is exciting news. I like the concept that he actually is going to continue on from a brand new point of view. Now, I'm not a fan of rewriting things. Like, I always feel that if you write a sequel to a movie, that you should embrace what came before it. A good writer can always work from what they have. And that's important. But I do, in this case, kind of like the idea of him working from something new. I don't think he will undo everything they did. I don't think that's what they're saying. I think that what we're going to see instead is him working within the confines of what they did while not really stepping on their toes, but giving us something new. A new family, a new scenario. And if he could do this and keep it kind of in that same vein as the original Exorcist and make it legitimately scary, then I am down for whatever he does. I have complete and utter faith in this guy to do this movie well. And that's why this is one of the more exciting pieces of horror news to come out this week. Because it had been rumored for a little while. But now it has been confirmed. They have said this is happening. And that is just great. This looks like this is going to be a really great upcoming year for horror. We have the return of Sidney Prescott in Scream. We have the return to the Exorcist roots, hopefully. Where it's legitimately some scary, scary thing again. I mean, the other movie was okay. It had its scares. I still like the movie. But if this can kind of give us the old Exorcist type of vibes, then I am on board. Plain and simple. You give me a director that knows what they're doing within the horror franchise that they're taking over. Really, you give me a director in any genre who knows what they're doing. And I'm there for it. I'm totally there to see what they've got to do. And I'm always hopeful that new directors are going to come along and do what they do what they do and prove that they are worth watching. And this guy, while he's not a very well-known director, he has proven what he has done in the past works. Like I said, some of the greatest Blumhouse horror films were done by him. And you can't ignore that. So, I'm excited to see what he does. I'm excited for this new announcement and I can't wait to start reporting on all the new exorcist things to come because it looks like it's going to be super awesome but here's the thing how do you feel about this have you heard of this guy do you like his films do you not like his films are you excited that the exorcist franchise is getting yet another chance or do you think it's time for the Exorcist franchise to be exercised? As always, we definitely want to know what you guys think. So make sure you are leaving us that comment in the comment box below.
make sure you share this video with all of your friends because they're going to want to be a part of this conversation. Then remember to hit that like button. It's free. It helps the channel and we appreciate it more than you know. Also, Miko says we need more subscribers. Look at this face. You don't want to disappoint Miko. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell while you're down there. So you don't miss a single video we do. And then friends, at the end of the day, I know it. You know it. And Miko knows it. Fandom is family.